Welcome back guys to Imperium Universalis and Alexander the Great and since the last episode I've spent some time off camera and I've shifted around our forces. We have built up our men basically just by waiting around. They have re reinforced. So yeah we've got a stack of 18,000 men led by Alexander himself and we're about to engage these 22,000 Persians that are gonna well, they're going to soon be locked in. There you go. Um, it, since this is going to be a defensive terrain, um, or uh, since this is going to be uh, enemy terrain for Persia, they will suffer the attacking penalties. Well, at least we won't. That's the most important. That's the most important part. And um, yeah, we should be able to squish these twenty-two thousand men. Uh, most of the Persian armies have actually retreated because, well, they have rebel uprisings. Every Arabian rebels, Israeli separatists. Then they've got the Mesopotamian rebels. So quite a lot they have to deal with. And, you know, obviously they have a very big country. The problem is that I just, you know, I don't see how I could potentially win this. Because we have to conquer all of this, keep it rebel free. It's just, it seems impossible. Um, and and biggest problem here might be the fort system. Because uh, the war goal here is to take the capital. So that is actually taking away 18 war score. And, you know, it's going to continue to tick down another 7. So, without that, um, yeah, I mean, with the war goal, I could get another 40. I would actually be at 60. Um, so, with, with enough well, war exhaustion, we will be able to uh, just defeat Persia like this. But anyways, what I will be doing is, I will be fighting these little battles here, um, where we actually not squished their army but yeah you know us losing like 3,000 men is actually quite hurtful so we're gonna have to retreat back to our lands and we'll just have to see what the Persians do but um, I have put the people on following me so hopefully they're gonna do that um, no they actually run away from me which is kind of interesting but yeah so I'm trying to defeat them wherever I can but it seems difficult enough and another big problem that annoys me is that we will get the lack of control um, so apparently you need to have the average autonomy less than 33%, the manpower level mu must be at 50% at, at least, and you need to have plus one stability. I thought it's only either one of those and not all of them at once, um, but yeah, apparently I was mistaken there. Uh, we finally have one of our allies actually deciding to uh, join up his armies with us. That's very, very useful because now, yeah, we've gotten another 40,000 40, men, uh, 50 or 60,000 even. Uh, not 60, 6,000 men. That is actually pretty decent. Um, now, before we head into battle, once it's going to happen, uh, 31st of July. So, I will shift consolidate um, just so that we fight as, as good as possible. We get, we have some allies joining us. They might be a bit late, but that's okay. And we are taking, ah, damn, we took the terrain penalty. I didn't think about that. They do have a goal-oriented leader. Shift Rafana de Kalmata. Um, okay, well, he's going to get crushed regardless. But yeah, we lost quite a few men. There's another great earthquake. There's quite a few of them, actually. And have they been completely destroyed? They have been. I mean, here's the thing. We're still making progress, which is which is really, really nice. But I don't know if this is going to be enough. I mean, it's good to see more rebels. But at some point, these rebels are going to start popping up in our lands as well. We have a coalition against us which is not really you know particularly scary but it is there and we also have unruly vassals so i don't know um i don't know if this is really gonna work out um i also don't think i want to show you all of these small skirmishes so what i will be doing is i will be uh, trying to do some alexander shenanigans off camera and if i ever make any progress other than this i will come back um but i highly doubt it so yeah, um, wish me luck, guys. Alright, guys, so I think I have a little bit of a plan. We'll see if that works out. For now, though, there's going to be a battle going on here in in Sparta. Not Sparta, but in Sparta, which I think is kind of interesting. We've got 26,000 men uh, amongst them. Obviously, a few of our vassals or, or allies. I'm very, very glad that they have finally decided to join us. That's incredibly useful. As you can see, we're also getting some manpower back. Very, very nice. I've been spending some points to reduce our war exhaustion. Um, but yeah, we shall see if that is actually going to be successful. And yeah, now we're going to be fighting that battle. I think I have shift consolidated already. Um, I mean... Yep, apparently I have. Very good. So, yeah, there's going to be a fight going on. I have also recruited four more mercenary infantry, but that will be a little bit late. But I wanted to just catch them now and defeat them. Hopefully. Oh, and we're taking heavy losses. 
Ah, I don't know about that one. Okay, this may have been a mistake. This was a mistake. Yeah, I actually took a lot. We basically took the same casualties, so that was not worth it. Regardless, I have a plan. Um, we will get our troops together for now before I do anything else. And uh, hopefully not going to take mass of attrition. We, uh, of course, now we lose money. Uh, this is terrible. But I've been looking at our possibilities. And Persia would accept this peace deal um, to taking over Persia if we, if we basically have 60 war score. Then, because right now, the biggest negative is demand exceeds war score minus 100. If that was gone, um, then it would be, yeah, basically current peace offer and so on and so forth. But we also would have more points because of positive war score. So, we need to take the Persian capital and we win the war. That is basically, that is basically it. So, I think there's a way that we can go to Persia. Basically, here, there's nothing stopping us here. So, if we somehow sneak through... We shouldn't be stopped by any fortifications. We could sneak through here. We, yeah, we could walk all the way. Basically, we could walk unmolested all the way until Susa. Um, in fact, actually, that might be a mistake. Yeah, we can even walk here. And then we can go right to Persepolis. So I'm pretty certain that we can actually go there without stepping into any, um, any claimed land by these fortresses so we'll see if that is possible um however can i just do it yes we can so i think that's what we're gonna do we're gonna march on the persian capital persepolis but before we do that maybe what i should be doing is raising another four thousand horsemen i mean just because right should i i don't think i should we will have people following us all right, let's go for it. We'll, we'll go for the Persian capital and we'll we'll try and siege it. If we're being attacked and defeated, then that would be very, very sad. But you know what? I have confidence. So we're going to make a long ass trip to the Persian capital. And once we arrive, um, I will cut back unless there's something more interesting happening along the way. So I'll see you guys in a second. Welcome to Mesopotamia, guys. We have already walked quite far. Uh, not, we have not encountered many men on the way. Uh, so, yeah, that's that's fine. We haven't really been stopped. However, now there is an army almost... I, I feel like, no, this has to be. Because I, the, AI, the AI knows what I'm doing. Because they're right in our path with 30,000 men. In fact, they might even reinforce with another 6,000. So, uh, if we destroy this army and defeat that one, that, that one soundly, then I think uh, Persepolis is open. And then we just have to siege it, which we'll have to see if that is going to be possible. But for now, we have a lack of control, uh, which is really, really bad. A disaster. That's the one that has struck Persia already. And we have gained invasion, Kazus Valley. Did, th does that mean that we have lost our vassals? Is that... No. I, I don't know. It doesn't really make much sense. Uh, although... What? Why do I not have... Oh, those, are, those are not full cores. Is that correct? Yeah. All right. Anyway. So, yeah. We have lack of control happening, but it shouldn't really matter much. We do gain more national unrest, which is a real problem. And also, we have gained a new leader trait that we are now... Oh, actually, no. That's our heir. Our heir is cruel. Okay. I, I thought it was um, our Alexander who was cruel. Um, but yeah, it doesn't really help either way. So, we'll have to see how things go. But we have gained a little bit of manpower. Um, that is really, really good. I'm actually going to go ahead and reduce the war exhaustion by two. So, yeah, that we gain, regain our manpower. In fact, what I'm going to try and do is actually build more men. Then again, actually, no, I don't want to do that. Because, uh, yeah, no, it doesn't really help us much. We're not going to be able to get the men over here. So, I will not build them right now. But, yeah, so, can we defeat 30,000 Persians? With 22,000 men. It's possible. It's possible. But I, I, I don't know. Um, we have now. Oh my god. Just now. Our infiltration uh, of the Persian administration has run out. That is so so bad. So so bad timing. Because this is when I would actually need to know. We need 40 spy network. I have built up to 28. So hopefully that's going to grow a little bit faster. And our colony. Um, life is hard. Fine, I'll give the colony a little bit of support there, although I don't really like that. And um, we have, apparently, what happened to all of our rebel factions? 
all of our rebel factions, we had some at 90%. They just went away. Which is incredibly interesting. Did I... I didn't give up any lands, did I? Oh, I did! I did lose provinces. I'm pretty sure that I had lands over here that I have lost now. Oh, yes! Yes! We have lost cores. What the fuck? All of these lands we have lost. What? That is insane. Huh. I, I was not aware of that. So yeah, we actually lost a lot of our conquests. Hmm. Well, regardless, you know what? It doesn't really matter at this point. We just need to make sure that we make our way to Persepolis and actually win this war. That is that is our main concern at this very moment. So we're going to take a crossing penalty. I will definitely make sure to wait for these men to arrive. 22,000 men under Alexander the Great against 29,000 Persians. It has been done before. It has been done before. Uh, August the 6th, so we'll, we will get a little bit of uh, extra reinforcements here. Um, there you go. We have stopped infiltrating the Administry. I know, I know, I saw that. Okay, can we can we win this? They've got 12,000 men. We've got about 10,000. Well, we've got about 12,000 men. And we've got 10,000 Slingers. They basically just have 7,000 cavalry more. Um, but you know what? It's possible that we still win. Come on. Come on, guys. I believe in you. Come on, Alexander. Show your strength. No! Oh, this is really close. Yes, but we've broken through. Holy shit. All right, very good. So the way is open to the Persian capital. We now just have to siege it. Oh my god, we have so few men. So few men. I don't know if we can do this. Especially because this is fertile highlands. That's a pretty interesting terrain. Um, but yeah. Oh my god. I, I don't know how I'm feeling about this. At least our, our soldiers are following us. So, you know, that's something. That's definitely something I'm very proud of. Uh, we do need a new advisor. Mm, none of this is really useful. One thing I also did, but I didn't really pull through with this. I was going to send our navy to Mothball because we need the shit. Uh, we need the money. Um, so, yeah, you Mothball. I have sent out the trade fleet, though, to make a little bit of money. And we'll see if that actually helps us. Yeah, actually, we're making decent amounts of money. And our manpower... We need, we need our manpower to recover. How can I stop this disaster, by the way? Let me see. This has... Ends when... Stability... Well, it has to be active for 10 years. Okay. Okay. Well, good to know. Um, that's incredibly useful. Regardless, let's make our way over. And we've killed another 2,000 men. And there's the huge Persian navy. Um, and Stoicism... Uh, is the is a school of Hellenistic philosophy found in Athens by Zeno of Citium in the early 3rd century BC. The Stoics taught that destructive emotions resulted from errors in judgment of the active relationship between cosmic determinism and human freedom. Ah, and they believe that it is virtue to maintain a will that is in accord with nature. Because of this, the Stoics represent their philosophy as a way of life, and they thought that the best indication of an individual's philosophy was not what a person said, but how a person behaved. To live a good life, one had to understand the rules of the natural order since they taught that everything was rooted in nature. So if you support this school, we gain national unrest reduction, tech cost reduction for five years, or lose prestige. Uh... Hmm. National unrest could be useful. Um... Hmm. I don't... I mean, I could boost my stability. That would be quite useful as well. Isn't that a requirement as well? Uh, you know what? I think we need to focus on other things right now. We have a war in our hands. I can't really spend the money, so I'll boost stability instead. I think that's going to be a lot more useful than any stoicism here. Even though, I mean, yeah, the tech cost is nice, but yeah, it doesn't really help us much. Okay, so there's going to be a little bit of a battle again. Um, 8,000 men this time. Oh, gee... For, but yeah, this time we actually have a lot more men. 14,000, we have replenished relatively quickly. And yeah, we've destroyed them much easier this time. Very, very nice. Now all we got to do... Um, who are you? You know what? Yeah, go go away. I don't need you. Um, but now all we got to do is basically besiege the Persian capital 
and we have won this war. We will be able to, yeah, basically siege all of Persia. Now, the problem is we already have lack of control. So, I'm not so sure if this is really, if we're really going to be able to hold on to our lands. Uh, I'm actually pretty certain we will not be able to do that. But, um, yeah, someone has peaced out. Tw negative 28%. Is there anything we can do? We can not assault without a fort, uh, without a breach. Come on, let's get a breach in there, guys. Oh my god, look at how many, how many Persians are amassing. Come on, negative 28 is not good. I don't, I don't need slaves. I need a breach here. Oh my god, why is it not progressing? That's terrible. It should be progressing. Uh, we've got a missionary almost finishing stuff. Very good. But I'm actually kind of annoyed at the fact that... Yeah, there's... This is not going forward. Finally. That took a while. I mean, we've got a four siege general. So I'm not really sure what's taken so long. To be perfectly honest with you. And they're going to attack us, aren't they? Damn, and we're so far from home. We're so far from home. Um... I'm actually afraid to let the, the time move forward because I don't want to be defeated. But we have got 10,000 men, uh, which is really, really good. We're making some decent cash. We could recruit mercenaries, um, which I will do, obviously. Um, I don't know how many. Three. All right. I mean, that's something. Now, let's build them. I haven't really decided what I'm going to do with them, but it's good to have them regardless. Come on. Please, 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 please. Can we hold this? And we're always going to get the negative terrain penalty. Oh, and it's so slow. Can we ha have... A have you ever seen a siege that is slower than this? Uh, all right. When is this battle going to happen? Uh, 21st. We're just going to get... Yeah, we're going to get dragged. This, is this siege will drag out because we're going to get constantly attacked. I mean, we're doing a good enough job. Um, Here, but... Oh, this is bad. 11,000 men. Come on, guys. Siege faster. If they bring their big army, like 30,000 men, we're, we're toast. If they bring 30,000 men, there's nothing I can do about that. In fact, what I should probably... Uh, I should probably build another army. Uh, I mean, you know, luckily, because we lost these lands, we're at least not going to have any rebels. So, I mean, that's that's a little bit of a release, uh, relief. But Israel has been released. Well, um, I think we'll move a little bit forward. Come on. Seven. Oh, negative seven. Okay, this is good. This is good news. This is good news. Ooh. You guys, uh, yeah. I mean, with 37 spy networks, so we're soon going to have... Uh, where are you, actually? Yeah, okay. Go away. I don't need you. Uh, so we're soon going to have a... Uh, a positive siege score, very very nice. Uh, and no, I was actually what I was actually saying was that we are soon at 40% spy network, which means I can infiltrate the administration again. So we'll have a little bit of an idea as to if the Persians come. And oh my God, we're so freaking close. 21%. This is looking good. We still haven't gotten a breach, which is very frustrating. Come on, 35%. Come on, come on. Next month, <sighs> we've got a lot of money. A lot of money. Uh, new settlers arriving in the colony. Very, very nice. Come on. 50. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What's this? Uh, uprising against our colony. Villages. Oh my god. Stop it. Um, <sighs> villages and tribes of the people in Sera have united their armies and now try to destroy our colony. We need to send our army there and crush this rebellion. Otherwise, our colonists will get killed or expelled. Um... I'm not going to abandon the colony. But then again, what's this? Uh, the priests of Pella are sure we are cursed by the gods. They have read the signs and predict a time of great pain and suffering for our people. The high priest wants to spread the bad news in every corner of Macedonia. This will certainly make people unhappy and may lead to panic. Yeah, we're going to lose the uh, religious authority here. I'm not willing to lose the stability over that. So, yeah, there you go. And we will decline your loan offer. I wish there was a... There was a way you could say that I am not interested in the offers of the AI. Because, yeah, 
obviously I'm not. Now, with this rebellion, if I don't want to abandon my colony, like what? If we show no mercy, then 16 separatists will rise up, which means I am forced, I'm now forced to build an army. Okay, so we've got five infantry, um, and I think I will build maybe like um, one, two, three, four horsemen, and then like one, two, three, four infantry, four maybe, I mean, maybe five, maybe five infantry, I'll put five infantry. And that's it for now. And I'll, I'll uh, leave this... I'll, I, I mean, I guess. Showing no mercy. I know what's going to happen if this is besieged. Probably won't be too good. Alright, so we'll have the Separatists there. And you guys can actually stay here. You are just going to be built up as well. And we'll see what we do with this. But for now, um, this is the important part. We'll have a coin flip. Perhaps we'll siege the capital now. Come on, come on. Siege it now. And there it is! Oh my freaking god! The sack of Persepolis. After a long and hard siege, our men were able to conquer Persepolis. The local population was captured, and everyone who tried to fight back was executed. The men now wait for orders to begin plundering. Um, you know what? I think we have to plunder this. I think we have to. So, um... Well, enslave everyone. Now, here's the thing. People have been telling me about this, but I think we kind of... We want to rule over these people, right? But then again, our heir is cruel. That's what he... He would certainly do that. Um, do we have time for this? Plunder the most valuable goods. Uh, fine, we'll only plunder the most valuable things. But I think we might be able to peace out. Oh, yes. We can take over Persia. I would not have expected that to be possible we're also going to gain i uh, know 500 gold they won't accept that all right you know what i'm i'm actually i actually want this to i want this war to be over so i'm going to conquer persia here and we'll just accept the demands even though a little bit of money would have been actually you know what can i type something in here no i cannot oh anyways so let's go for it yeah i want i want persia we'll send a demand and we'll see what happens. Now, wow, there we go. We won the <laughs> we won the war. Wow. So this is pretty impressive. Um, we lost half a million men. And yeah, the Persians or the Persian alliance lost 760,000. That is just insane. Look at the casualties. Um, how many of those are mine, I wonder? How many horsemen? 270,000 men. Wow, they also lost 99 ships, but they still have a pretty big fleet. Um, yeah, so we lost basically most of our men in combat, but so did they. We actually took a little bit more uh, from attrition. Alright, that's not too bad, that's not too bad. We lost 80,000 horsemen, and we only lost, yeah, 30 skirmishers. So basically, in terms of infantry, they only lost 80,000 more men, but yeah, it's really we killed them in the cavalry and the skirmisher front. That was really where we are uh, best. Um, so yeah, we took... Casualties of uh, 175,000, 126 infantrymen were killed. Uh, the Persians themselves, they took the bulk of their, um, of, yeah, of their losses. 700,000 men just killed like that. Fucking insane. But we won the war. We have annexed them. We obviously gained a lot of aggressive expansion. And we've formed a personal union, apparently. We have inherited a throne. And we now a cultural reunion. And we have gained Invasion Kaz's Valley. We'll see if we use that. And we can upgrade a government rank from a large state to a major state. Um, to an empire. Did I click this twice? I think I may have clicked it twice. But here we are regardless. We've got 100 prestige. And I wonder if I'm going to use some of this to placate some of our more annoying vassals and um, but all of this will probably be decided later uh, we have also lost egypt obviously israel and a few other actually those are the two that have been independent but yeah <sighs> the
the brave, our brave soldiers, and we also inherited the fleet. Holy shit. Did we also inherit all the troops? Yes, we did. All right, that's interesting. So we'll see what we can do with that. Um, I will end this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I actually would not have expected to be able to do this, but, you know, uh, managing to make our way directly to uh, the Persian capital and sacking it uh, was certainly quite, quite, uh, yeah, quite helpful. Anyways, as I said, I'll end this episode here. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.